unfortunately, we're living uh, uh, in a moment uh, uh, in which there are 55 conflicts in the world. This was uh, the same happened only in 1945. So we should really think over this. This is really a, a tragic uh, coincidence. And we, we hope the situation will improve. Having said this, obviously, at the moment, all governments are trying to support Ukraine. And this means that there is a, a lot of activity to move uh, weapons and defense systems to Ukraine. And of course, uh, our companies are involved because the production uh, must grow. Uh, well, so this, this, is a, this in part reflects the growth of the business. On the other hand, I think we are moving from defense to global security, which is a much broader challenge. Defense is only weapons. Global security is cyber security, energy security, food security. So I think we need to rethink the system to, to ensure global security to the citizens. Rethink holistically, but for a company such as Leonardo, again, for all the terrible reasons that we've already discussed and we already alluded to, it is a sweet spot. Um, and look, people are allowed to make money. People are allowed to grow their business. Um, we live in a democracy as well. Where, where are the focuses for Leonardo? Because I presume at the moment it's just so many opportunities. Yeah, um, you have to consider that uh, we got a lesson from the Ukrainian uh, war. I mean, uh, young people with, with a mobile phone connected to a satellite uh, driving a, a drone uh, can destroy war machines that are worth millions and millions. So clearly defense now is no longer bullets, but it's bullets and bites. So the digitalization uh, is becoming a key uh, technology even for defense and security. So for, for, for companies like Leonardo and for the defense companies in the world, I think we, we have to make a big effort in introducing a massive digitalization in our platform. That means um, not only designing uh, platforms by using digital twins, but also uh, ensuring services that are uh, AI powered, uh, swarm intelligence, uh, autonomous systems. It's a complete change of paradigm. It, it's really a different technological approach to defense and security. It's a big technology challenge. Roberto, you're preaching to the converted, having just been at a major tech event this week. What sort of requ uh, investments are required from your company to try and dominate in the AI race when it comes to defense? Well, you know, uh, uh, the first thing you have to do uh, is, of course, to, to increase the, the, the computational power uh, per person, per capita, <laughs> let's say so. So then you need a cloud and you need a fast, um, um, a fast interface between your cloud, where you protect the data, and your high-performance computing systems. That's the first, the first important point. Then you have to consider that those, um, uh, let's say, AI algorithms are, are, are producing signals that are controlling different platforms in, in different domains, sea, land, air. And all the signals have to be cyber protected. Otherwise, they can be intercepted and, of course, manipulated. So what you need is computational power, memory, cybersecurity, and least but not last, you need something that lets you observe the situation from the top. That is uh, uh, global monitoring and observation from, from space. Uh, 